Welcome to IPS Global's walkthrough on performing our Level 1 checklist. This video covers our Level 1 printer repairs to make before placing a service call. Today we're using an HP M525, but the same basic principles apply to most printers and multifunction devices. First thing to do is power off the machine. Second, unplug any power, network, or USB cables. Next, to clean up lines and dots on copies and scans, check the glass for whiteout, pen marks, and other blemishes on the glass. Whiteout can be removed by scraping it off with the side of a plastic card, such as a driver's license or a credit card. The final cleaning can be performed with glass cleaner and a paper towel. Do not spray the glass directly. Moisten the towel, then wipe the glass clean. This should remove any remaining marks and blemishes on the glass. We now want to check for paper jams. Start at the top and work your way down. Begin with the document feeder if you have one. You want to look for paper as well as post-it notes and paper clips. Inside, anything that is green on a copy or print device is recognized as an access point to check for paper jams. Open the document feeder lid. Check the area above the strip glass which is usually on the left hand side of the document feeder. Close the lid and move on to the paper trays. Remove all trays and make sure that the paper is flush against the tray rails. Inspect the empty tray well for any loose hanging paper. Now open the main body of the machine. Remove the toner cartridge or cartridges and inspect the main paper path for jammed and torn pieces of paper. Once you've inspected that area, reinsert the toner cartridges and close the cover. Then reinsert all trays. The final jam point to check is on the back of the machine in the fixing and output area. Open the back cover. And remember to be careful. This area can be hot. So take care when checking for jams here. Once all jams are removed, close the cover. We will now remove the paper tray and guarantee the paper is flush against the rails. If the rails are not set to the paper's proper size, it can cause the paper to slide around and jam. We now need to make sure all pull strips are removed from the toners. Open the cover of the printer, remove the toner, and check for pull strips or tear strips. When you know they've all been removed, place all toners back in the machine. Now we want to go over error codes. If you experience a 10 error on an HP color printer, one of those toners is defective. If the first set of numbers after the 10 are double O's, replace the black cartridge. If the number is 01, replace the cyan cartridge. If the number is 02, then replace the magenta cartridge. And finally, if the number is 03, replace the yellow cartridge. Next, we'll cover clearing a 49 error. To start, you must delete the first print job held in the queue for the affected printer. If this does not solve the problem, Delete the whole print queue and try resending the jobs. If the level 1 checklist is completed and the issue still persists, it's time to place a service call, which you can do from our website. Just sign in and go to My Equipment. Then click the blue service button. Complete the form, then click place a service call at the bottom. We hope this video helps explain the process of going over our level 1 checklist. Thanks for watching from IPS Global.